Twinkle and today I'm going to be showing you how to use number lines to teach decimals and percentages. At first the decimal fraction may be introduced as tenths as decimals, for example here looking at the bar model and showing that three of the ten boxes are coloured in and therefore the decimal fraction is 0 0.3. Similarly here, 6 of the 10 are coloured in, therefore the decimal fraction is 0 0.6 and we can see that each box is worth 0 0.1. This can then be shown on a number line to show how the 10 spaces between 0 and 1 are each worth 0 0.1. These number lines are useful to show this pattern. You could laminate these number lines and use them in the classroom or at home, asking children to identify decimals, counting decimals, or complete missing number lines. For example, here we have a blank number line. If I was to ask a child to find 0.5 on this number line, I would know that it would go between 0 and 1, like so. To take this a step further, we could find missing decimals. For example, you could give this blank number line, ask a child to draw an arrow to where they think 0.7 would be. Where would 0.2 be? Quite often in assessments, children are asked to identify the letter that is shown, which decimal this represents. Decimal number lines can be used from 0 to 1 working in tenths, from 0 to 5 working in halves, but also you could introduce hundredths, quarters and so on. When looking at decimals and percentages together or percentages, decimals and fractions together on a number line, it's useful to have the number line available for conversions or just for finding simplified fractions also for ordering fractions, decimals and percentages. For example, 0 0.5 is in between 0 and 1. But equally, this is a half and 50%. This number line can be used to find 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 as a fraction and a percentage as well. On this number line, we've got decimals, fractions, and percentages. Here you can see how all three can be used together when ordering on a number line. Also, I could use this fraction and simplify it, or find all versions of that decimal fraction. Finally, this FDP, Fraction Decimal Percentage Grid, is available to support you and your child when learning to convert between the three. Thanks for watching.